Good evening, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to Monique's Jewels. Um, don't forget a thumbs up today. We did wonderful on thumbs up yesterday on that video. Um, I know I keep hounding on it and everything, but it's working out well. Um, I'm at 501 subscribers. So we will do a giveaway. It will be tomorrow afternoon when I'll post it. And of course, with the giveaway, all you have to do is comment below the video, and uh, that will enter you. Please make sure you're subscribed in order to win. And um, our sale went excellent yesterday. Um, it was funny because I had about four people wanting the same ring. So that was that was sad, but that's just how it goes, you know. But um, I wanted to remind everyone as far as I always have a sold area in the comments, you know, which is right below the video. Um, it, it would be, as you're watching the video, the comments are right below. So it's not like it's hard to see, but they're pinned, which means that they should be the top comment, the comment on the top. And what I do is I put the number in of the you know, it's the timestamp, and I put it in there, and all you have to do is click on that timestamp, and it shows you exactly what it is that sold. Um, it takes you right to the picture of the item. So before you email me, I would appreciate it if you would check the sold items in the comments, and I also hope that everyone can can um, use my email, the Monique's Jewels, to at gmail.com, and that is how you purchase from me. We do not purchase in the comments because I have comment issues. So there's sometimes you guys will comment just on the video and say hello or whatever, and the only way I see that comment is in the notifications. It's not down below. It's not in the comments. It's just in the notification. So, and if I don't check, what if I forget and don't check the notifications more than once, you know, that day, then I'm totally miss out on the comment. So we're going to go ahead and finish up with um, the sterling and natural stone jewelry that I had uh, yesterday, you know, we had the buy it now, the rings that were 20, what were they, 22 a piece? That was a really good sale. I think you guys really enjoyed it. Um, we'll do that again. I do have some rings left and hope to get a few more. So I think the buy it now is a good idea. Now, I got a group of costume jewelry in. So yesterday, I went through a lot of my jewelry and kind of made a beautiful lot. Um, maybe 10 pieces of mine and then about 40 pieces from Shop Goodwill. Um, this might be one of the last ones I get because um, what they've done to that website is just nuts. So until I can figure it out a little bit better until, you know, I was kind of able to figure out um, the time and everything that I should put a, put a bid in and wait till the last minute. I never, um, I never got into bidding wars. If I put a number down, I was done. If I got it for that, fine. If I didn't, I didn't. Um, I did pretty well with it, but now I, I just don't know what's going to go on. I like the setup for the website. I just really, it's just so different. Um, I think some of the places that used to sell jewelry are no longer in that, you know, huge group of state, city and states that have stores that actually sell jewelry online. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite quite a little mix-up. 
as far as the ability to for me to maybe go in and get something from Indianapolis or something like that. I don't think I can. Um, so we'll just have to see. Hopefully, maybe I can find somebody else, you know, that has costume vintage jewelry or learn how to figure out that website. So don't forget the description of the video. If you guys are subscribed to anybody and you don't check their description, a lot of times there's a lot of very good information in the description, which is the little upside down V, which would be like right around, I think it'd be like right down here. Um, and you just click it and the, you know, it pulls down and it tells you, it usually gives them the name of their email address, um, things they purchase, things that um, they're getting ready to do. With mine, I'm trying to put some of the items that I purchase every day, you know, for this channel. Not every day, but my everyday purchases to keep this channel going. Um, some of my, oh, what would you call it? Makeup tips or makeup ideas like my nails and things like that. Um, I'm getting ready to order some more of the bubble bath, bubble, I wish it was bubble bath, <laughs> bubble wrap bags. I need some more um, ring boxes. I There's just a few things that I need to purchase that I'm getting low on. And I'll probably just go ahead. It's so easy on Amazon to copy the link and um, let you guys see kind of the things that I buy on a weekly or bi-weekly basis to keep this channel going. And um, it can be quite an expense. Now, for, um, for my business cards, which I'm out of, I use Vistaprint. I've used Vistaprint for years. So that's a good company. And if you get coupons from them, make sure you keep them. You know, if you get a coupon that comes in the box, if you get like 100 cards and they get keep the coupon and use it, because I've done that a couple times and forgot it, th thrown it away or whatever. But um, that's a good company to go through. It doesn't take that long to get the things. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I actually want to show you some of the pieces that I like that I might keep for a minute. And this is all together in this um, Shop Goodwill natural stone and sterling. Okay. Let me see here. This has a tag. But this tag says absolutely nothing. No, it does say something. It says 925. You just can't see it because it's a bit tarnished. Okay. This piece is just spectacular. This is what I think is quartz. Um dyed pearls which are kind of a peacock color which you guys know I love amethyst colored um, beads here I think these might be a dyed quartz we have kind of a blue and a purple here um, fluorite maybe right here these ones that have the blue and the purple are definitely look like fluorite and this beautiful hunk here comes up adventuring. Isn't that pretty? It is gorgeous. So, I thought I'd hold on to this for a moment. Um, these pieces here came up as sterling. So this has got quite a bit of sterling. If I was going to sell this, probably, I'd probably sell it for, I don't know, 35 Something like that. But I thought I'd just kind of leave it hanging around for a minute. The next one is kind of a no-brainer for me. This has sterling here. Um, this is garnet. These are garnet um, stone beads. And then this piece here is sterling with this magnificent stone. I don't know if it's garnet. I don't know what it is. It looks like garnet, but if it is, it's like a road knight. Road delight, road night, road night garnet. Um, 
which is a red orange. This is weird because <laughs> it's got the little circle and the um, kind of like the, you know how the Rivoli stone is upside down? Well, this is where the faceting comes to the tip here and it sticks out. It's so funny. So I didn't take it to the jeweler because I thought to myself, self, I don't even want to sell it just because it's a garment and that's my birthday. And um, this was loose right here. There was a piece coming off of the bail. It was like lifting on the bail here. So I put a piece of glue, a little hunk of glue there and just let it sit overnight. And now I've got lotion on my hands. Sorry, guys. But this is the most beautiful stone. I don't care if it's garnet or... See how it's like a purplish red? It's more orange than purple in person. But, boy, I'll tell you what. But the tester came up as um, garnet. So, there's that. And I'm getting one again here soon. I just, I can't keep going without one. Okay, this is a piece I'm keeping because I'm getting ready to get a bracelet from Jennifer that's kind of like this, the opalite. So I thought I'd just keep this until I got the bracelet, maybe have a set. This is sterling. Um, these little end caps probably are also, but that's not really important. This is just a beautiful specimen. It's really pretty. Um, kind of gem cut, faceted, just a soft faceting on these beads. Um, I have to read up more on opalite. I'm not positive about it. Some of it's faux. Um, you know what I mean? I, I just don't know a lot about it. But this is gorgeous, and it's cold. And I don't know one way or another if it's real or, you know, or not. But it doesn't matter. I think it's gorgeous. And we'll see how the bracelet looks with it. Maybe I'll sell it. This thing is gorgeous. I can't give it up. I, I, I don't know. I had a pendant that was bigger, and I sold it to a lovely lady friend of mine. And it's like the woman holding up the world. Now, this might not be a woman. But I'll tell you what, it is the coolest pendant. It's solid sterling. And all it's marked is 925. There is no maker mark. And you know that just drives somebody like me insane. Because we want to know. But this has a beautiful amethyst cabochon here. There's decoration. To me it looks like a dress. So, you know, I don't know. Then you have the quartz beads, kind of a rose quartz. And then you have these beautiful, almost rough cut amethyst beads here. And it's set with the um, sterling clasp. So that's a, another one that I thought I would keep for a while. I just, it's just amazing. When I saw these pieces, I was like, man, this is just, just too phenomenal. Okay, this is sterling. This is a fabulous piece also. This is sterling. Look at the clasp. I saw this. I was like, what? It's marcasite and sterling. Just absolutely gorgeous. It's marked on the back. 925 or something. Yeah, 925. This is so pretty. I would probably want to wear the clasp in the front like this, maybe off-centered. This is like banded carnelian or carnelian, which is, what is it? It's, it's an agate. Uh, carnelian is a deep reddish-brown agate. Um, this is like a banded carnelian with a lot of agate in it. It's gorgeous. It is, I'll show you better. It is brownish red with a lot of white from the quartz. Look at the banding on that. 
Yeah, this is gorgeous. So I thought I'd keep this for a little while. Um, and the last one, I, I, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. Um, I'll just let you look at it for a minute. <laughs> Obviously, it's sterling up here. It has a nice little extender. The chain is sterling. Just, just look at it. It's just so pretty. Um, hold on here. It is actually a... Um, the ones that I have... Let's see. Let's go back. Um, I'm trying to find where I'm at here. Hold on, guys. Sorry. Um, Doo -doo. Okay. I am looking. I've got a malachite, but I'm going to have to redo it. Um, trying to remember what this is made out of also. Well, the main two things are terminated quartz. Um, it has tourmaline, that is the black. This is rhodonite. This is gorgeous. <laughs> One of my favorite stones besides Labradorite. I wish that's what this was, but I think it's just plastic. Set in sterling. I don't know what it is. It might be, I don't know. I don't know. It's just very different. But I know I love it. Um, we have what I do believe is, of course, terminated quartz. And then we have what looks like obsidian to me. But maybe not. That might be just plain tourmaline. We could have just tourmaline with the tourmalade quartz. Because if this didn't have quartz, it would just be black, a black stone. Um, that's just the tourmaline growing into um, the matrix of the quartz. Then you have glass beads here. This, yeah, this is stunning. Just beautiful. So I thought I'd just show these to you to let you see how pretty they are. Yeah, that does look like tourmaline to me. Um, yeah, these are just gorgeous pieces. I was just so happy to get them. But like I said, I don't know what kind of um, stones and bundles we will be getting anymore from Shop Goodwill. It doesn't sound like it's going to be a good thing, but we just never know. Don't forget, thumbs up, guys. <laughs> okay, the next thing I'm going to show you is a piece I already had. It did not sell. This is a quartz. I mean, pff, this is an agate. This is like a uh, lace agate. Um, to me, it looks like ocean jasper because it has so many of the circles but it's it's not it is actually has see-through qualities in the white i don't know if i can show you sometimes it's so hard to tell yeah see how you can see through these pieces and there is a repair but you can't really tell it's just so pretty and then we have Tiger's Eye, as you can see. Yeah, you can see that really well. This is, um, I think this is a Super Tarnish 925. I, I just don't remember. I got to check. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Pretty sure. Um... Not that it matters. This is cool. I'll show you the toggle part. It looks like a um, top of a crown. 
a crown, not a crayon. Isn't that cool? So I don't think this is marked either. It's rather ornate. check it real quick guys I forgot to check this one of all the ones I checked I don't remember checking this one. Oh yeah that's sterling yipper doodle oh goodness I thought it was a little tarnished <laughs> guys when you get to doing sterling as much as I do and some of the other guys, it's like you just, once you scratch it, you can tell. The blue lines. Yeah, you can just tell. It has a certain, like, texture when you scratch it. It's very different. If you get a, a non- Sterling, a lot of times it'll have a lot of pink in it. That is actually the copper underneath. If you've got silver plating, you'll have copper underneath it. And you'll be able to see a little bit of pink coming through if you're, um, if it's testing for sterling. It's just like a real heavy plated silver over the top. So, this is just really, really pretty. It has the sterling. It is uh, right at 16 inches. I still can't tell which um, stone was affixed back. I can't, I, I can't tell. Hold on. Let me look. Looky, looky. Mm-mm. I really can't tell. I'm not being funny. It came that way, and you know what? I, was, I had gotten so many broken pieces in about a period of two months, and I was hot. And I, I really can't tell. So I'm not even going to go there because I can't tell, even though I'm trying to tell. Let me turn it over. Yeah, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous necklace. And it is, you know, it's fragile. It's not something that you're going to throw down on a tile floor. You're just not, you know. And when I got it and it had that, it wasn't cracked. It was like it had a hairline fracture through it. I was hot. Yeah, I really don't know which one it is. So we're just going to leave it at that. Otherwise, I'd show you because I've shown it. I showed it one other time, but that was right after I fixed it. So let's do this. Let's put a number on this. Let's do 22 on this. It is just gorgeous, and I think you'd be very happy with it. Isn't that beautiful? It's got a lot of gray in it. It would go good with black, brown, cream, white, um... I think this would even be pretty with blue. I'm going to wear blue for Thanksgiving. A real pretty kind of a velour powder blue um, hoodie with some black pants. So I've got to figure out what kind of jewelry I'm going to wear. Okay, this is pretty, guys. This has sterling here. Oh, man. That ring is off of there. It's not off of there. It just needs to be replaced. I mean, it just needs to be put back on. Um, yeah, I tested this, and it was all sterling, except for the, what do you call it, that little spring in there. So I'm going to go ahead and just set this over to the side. If anybody's interested, um, this piece here is not sterling, but this and this is. These are beautiful little stones, kind of a um, amber color. It's not amber that I remember anyway. Mm -mm. It's very pretty. It's like sea glass and a real pretty amber colored stones and this beautiful mother of pearl. And I can fix that in a heartbeat, but 
Let's just put, let's put $8 on that, even with the sterling and everything. And if you want it, I will fix it. Okay, this is another hunk of uh, sterling lobster here. This thing is really, really pretty. Now, I think, oh gosh, I tested these and they did not test the sterling, or did they? I don't think it matters, but these bead caps are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, so we've got some lampwork beads. These two are probably, yeah, these look the same with the rose and the green. These ring pearls are absolutely gorgeous. Oh, then we've got the light pink rose with the green, a little more clear. And then we've got this beauty at the, at the bottom got kind of an orange color this thing is gorgeous it's it's nice because it's like heavy this is right at 15 inches this would be nice with an extender too so this is yeah 15 inches almost 16 and it's beautiful Isn't that pretty? so let's put 20 on that one just gorgeous Let's see. Let's get one that's not pearl. Ooh. Okay, this is definitely sterling here. The chain is also, this is marked. This Oh, this is a Tisha Rosa. Tisa Rosa. Tisha? Tisa? T-I-C-A. Tisa. Okay. So you have like the little pieces of, what are those, are those coral? That looks like um, angel skin coral and turquoise and seed beads. It's really pretty. And the um, heart is sterling. Isn't that pretty? Very sweet. Okay. And we have a size of right at 16 inches. Look how dainty that is and pretty. The light pink and the blue. It's just really interesting. Um, let's put let's put 10 on this one. I like that. Are we putting all of them there? No, we don't need to fix all of them for heavens. I hope. <laughs> I hope. Okay, let's do. Oh, you guys, this is from the other day. This is 925, an adventuring, a beautiful set with these um, beautiful little cascading um, green beads here. Just gorgeous. Kind of three different shapes. I mean, three different sizes. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, hold on here. Here we go. And they hang down just a bit. Just enough to be fancy. Not overly fancy. Those are approximately, what would you say, um, an inch and a quarter. This beauty is a rosary style. Cut out rose. Just beautifully carved. Just, that is just gorgeous. Wonderful. Very artistic. This is almost 18 inches. It's about 17 and a half. No, it's not. It's almost 18. 17 three quarters. Okay, so we're going to put this at 24. Very, very big. They're, they're cold and they're so soft. This is not heavy at all. This is beautiful. Not heavy. Let's put that there. Okay, you guys, I have this piece that I've had for a minute. It is also a U and I piece. I'll show you the, um, it is kind of a, um, what would you call it, a burnished gold color. Um, it's been gold like this since I've gotten it. I don't know if it's um, a tarnished um what do you call it? Vermeil. 
over sterling. I don't think, no, I don't think so. I think it just kind of cleans up a tiny bit if you wipe it. Let's see. Yeah. But what we've got here is what I think is a stone called bloodstone. Or, um, oh gosh, what do they call it? This is like a terminated quartz or a, um, a quartz with um, some type of darker stone here, which could be tourmaline. That is coral. That is what I do believe is turquoise. Let's see. Oh, that's cool. That's That looks like red jasper mixed in with this. Look at that. Then we've got this carnelian. Kind of banded. Kind of got banding. Then we've got this beauty. This is like, um, oh my. This looks like tiger's eye almost. This has some reflective uh, beauty. That's beautiful. I'm not sure what that is, guys. It almost looks like a mixture of tiger's eye and um, Labradorite <laughs> put in a mixer. Um, this is another um, beautiful piece of coral there. We have now this looks like uh, Jasper here. It doesn't have anything clear that I can see. Very pretty. Um, this one is not, I'm not sure what this is. This could be, um, oh, what's it? Chi chiropraise? Something like it. Chiropraise? Chiropraise? It's green. It's a green stone. Then we've got the rest of these here. This actually looks like, um, Jasper. Like a sandy looking beautiful jasper there. This is actually a piece of wood. It's very pretty. This looks like quartz to me. And this is unakite. Beautiful. I haven't seen any unakite in a while. Right, isn't that pretty? Then we're back up here to what I think is either moon, no, not moonstone, bloodstone, or there. there's another word for it too. But that's just to go through the stones. And it's so amazing that I have seen so many pieces from you and I, the company, that use these real natural stones. Pretty cool. So I'm going to put eight on this one just because it doesn't have any sterling. But it's a really cool piece. And I think that might be a mahogany jasper there. That's what that looks like. Okay. I'm going to set this one over here. Scoop that back. Next, we have a geode, which is a quartz that has been dyed. It's really pretty. See how you can tell? <laughs> you can tell it's been dyed. But it's a geode. Um, it's not a druzy geode. If it was, it'd have... It's, it looked like it was maybe getting ready to start right there. But it didn't. Then we have these beautiful colored um, ring pearls. They're in a brown to a gold to a green, all the way back up to a sterling clasp here. Isn't that cool? Yeah, these are, these are just some of the prettiest pieces I've had in a while. Then we have like the little seed pearls. I mean seed beads here. Now these are nice big big pearls. So let's do 10 on this one. It is approximately, yep, 16 inches, guys. And then 16 plus what? Four? No, three. So it's about 19 inches total. It's very pretty. Okay, let's see what's next. Oh, we have a really nice toggle. Let me see if there's a mark on this. Mm. 
Hmm. Nope, no maker's mark that I can see. Hold on here. Okay. This is a gold colored pearls. Just the one set, you know, one string. They are kind of broke, which is they are not the same size or the same shape. Um, they're close to the same size, but they're not the same shape. Right at 16 inches. Um, just really, really a pretty set. Beautiful gold um, fall and winter warm colors. So let's do... Let's do eight on these pearls. Very nice. Sorry about the pups. The pups. Okay, now we've got some more sterling here. This is really cool. This is... I'm trying to see where this is marked. It might have been the other one. Um, oh, here. 925 on the clasp. And... Had a maker mark, dang it. I hate that. 925. I don't have a maker mark. But these are like queen pearls. This thing is gorgeous. If nobody wants this, I will keep it. This is just darling. And this little piece goes up like this. This is sterling. This is sterling. And the chain is sterling. These Coin pearls are gorgeous. They're like little, I don't know. They're like, remember red hots? They're like little white red hots. They're just the most beautiful shape. Just, I don't know. And then the sterling hair, this can be shined up. Let's see. Oh, yeah. And um, this has just got some little beads and then the pearls. There's three and then another coin pearl there. I just think this is just darling. It just needs cleaned up a little bit unless you guys, you know, would want to purchase this and keep it in its natural state. This is going to hang about, I'd say, 17 inches. But it'll go kind of like this. And the two pieces there. Yeah, it's going to be right around 16. But it's going to lay. And then you're going to have this little beautiful piece here. And like I said, if you shine this up, this is going to be very, very pretty. And I think that these beads in between are also sterling. But I would not try to clean this with anything but a cleaning cloth. Um, these could be strung on string for all I know. Some of the older pieces are, and a lot of pearls are. So this is just gorgeous, and I'm going to put 18 on it. And remember, this is all sterling. It's very pretty. To me, it just looks clean and cool, you know. And here's another one that I love. This is 925. This is a rosary style with my beautiful peacock colored pearls that I absolutely adore. These are like a ring pearl. These have one line through them. Kind of a cross between a Baroque and a, a ring pearl. Um, very, very pretty. And look at the mother of pearl little piece down here. It is gorgeous. Oh, this purple color is great. This is actually right at 18 inches, perfect length, maybe even a little bit longer because that is caught right there. There we go. Okay, yeah, perfect. So, sterling, this wire is sterling. Um, the pendant itself is about an inch. So it's going to be a little under 20 inches total. Um, get back up there. Yeah, I really like this. So let's do 16 on this one. It's very pretty. 
the pearls are lustrous. Now remember when you're wearing pearls on your neck to try not to use perfume, try not to use lotion, and if you do use like a moisturizing foundation or something like that on your neck, make sure you wipe it in very well before you put on your pearls because all that stuff will ruin them. It'll ruin the, the, the luster and everything else. I think that's why so many people have used faux pearls back in the day. I, pearls back in the day used to be extremely expensive for the time. And my grandmother, even though she didn't have a problem with money, she wore every day of her life a pair of pearls, a set of pearls that were not real. Yep, she wore them until she passed away. And they were kind of a, they probably were about this color, but they ended up kind of being more of a golden color towards the end. And, um, but that way I think she could use, you know, perfume and powder. And they used a lot of powder back in the day when she was young. Powder and, cause they were always powder. She was always powdering her nose. Uh, she didn't want to have a shiny nose, and then she used lipstick continuously. She always had lipstick on. She was the sweetest little lady. She was, I don't think she was over four feet, I don't, I, what was she, four feet two or three? She was, t she wore a size two in women's shoes. Or would that have even been women's shoes back then? She was little, and my grandfather was six feet five and a half almost six six yeah it was mutt and jeff that's for sure um here we have sterling then we have um some little bead caps these are little baroque pearls some of them are kind of shaped like tears um then we have what i think is glass beads the bicone beads in between this is just a sweet set very pretty. These pearls are gorgeous. They're very white and satiny. These are 15 inches. This set is 15 inches. And I'll put $12 on these. Let's see, where are we at? 42. We're doing very good. Then we have this set here. This does not have a clasp. This is like matinee length opera length, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is approximately 28 inches. Um, it does have the little seed pearls or the rice pearls. Then we have a little um, rondel here. I don't know if that is. I don't know. I do believe that these are sterling but, I mean, they're not big enough to, you know, make a difference price-wise or anything. I think this is just kind of a little gilded rondelle or something. But for the pearls, um, and it's just cute. And it just goes over your head. And this is the back part here, back here. So, let's do eight on this set. On that string, a string of pearls, a set of pearls would be the necklace, the earrings, and the bracelet. So a string of pearls is one necklace. Okay. This is also sterling. I think the chain is too. Yeah. Um, is that ring? Yeah, probably. Um... I'm not sure if the wire is sterling. The wire is right there. Might not be. But it doesn't, you know, it's not a big deal. Um, these are just some vintage beads. They're glass. We have these bicones. We have the little bitty ones. Then we have these um, baguettes. Or, um, what are they called? Bugle beads. Sorry, I almost couldn't say it. You have... The bicones and the bugle beads, and then a bigger bicone. But these are gorgeous crystals, just beautiful crystal beads. And then we have this made 
at the end, just like a pendant. Just beautiful. So this set right here with the extender is going to be uh, 15 inches. So without the extender, it's about 14. So it would be up a little higher, but these beads are just too pretty. So let's do, mm, let's do 12 on this one. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the shine, just gorgeous. Okay, and then this one here is about the same. I do believe these are all sterling also, or it wouldn't be in this group. And I was just staring at this and staring at this. I think it's fluorite, but I'm not sure. I just, it's hard for me to tell. Oh. This is a hmm. The fluorite should fluoresce, and this doesn't. So this is probably just little pieces of quartz, little quartz pieces. Let me see if they're cold. I can't even feel if they're cold. They're so tiny. So why don't we do this? Since this is sterling, little sterling clasp. On. Yeah, it's marked. Yeah. Um, and it's just a very small necklace. And it is about 14 and a half inches. So it would this would be a layering piece. Um, you would like put this down and then you'd have a longer piece like under it. You know what I mean? Kind of like that. Not this, but something similar. So you'd have like two pieces like that. Um, let's put mm, let's put eight on this. No, let's don't. Let's put six on this. Cause I think it's stone, but I can't tell. I just can't tell. Isn't that weird? I really think it is. Because it looks like little tiny pieces of quartz. And when I do this, I can feel kind of a coldness. So yeah, let's just do six. I mean, you know, it can't hurt you. It can only hurt me. No, I'm just teasing. Nope, nope. Nothing, nothing like that, guys. Okay, I'm going to show you my quartz pieces. And what I found out that some are quartz and some are agates. Okay, so this right here, you see how clear these pieces are? The tester says that these are quartz. Like the clear and the white is the quartz. Okay, so this is a beautiful quartz piece. It has a gold tone chain, which is a rosary style. There is a, I can't even talk. There's a clasp here that is like shut. It is super long, super long. It is 24, let's see. It's probably about 34, 35 inches. We have a beautiful tassel here. Isn't that pretty? And I'll show you the stones up close. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, these are pretty, a, a very nice enhancer for any type of a dress. Um, color blocked or just a plain all one color top things like that um, let's see just because it's so neat these look like rotinis isn't that funny um, let's do 18 on this one this one doesn't have much of a, um, it's not like super artisty, art, artsy, artsy fartsy, and these others are super fartsy, super, 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 super far out. Okay, we have the Mayan calendar, and this actually tested, look at this. Now, do you see what I see with this kind of a greenish hue back through here? 
This tested as onyx, green onyx. Isn't that amazing? Look at that huge hunk. Now, this could also be something else, but it's coming up as green onyx, and it does look a bit different than this, okay? So there's that. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. It is also very long. Very, very long. Then we have, let's see, it is probably about 20, 24 inches plus another two and a half, almost three. So we got about 27 inches here. Um, this has a little deeper tone as far as quartz goes. I think, let me see what this one tested real quick, guys. Um, let's go back. Let me see if it actually even, there's that. I don't even know if it did it or not. Let's do one more real quick and see what it says. I think it's gonna say it's an agate. Let's see what it says. Yep, it's like a banded agate. And it calls itself, it even calls this up here green onyx. Banded green calcite. Um, yeah. And I'll show you the picture here. If you can see it. <laughs> Duh. Okay, come on now. Yeah, it looks just, I mean, it really looks just like it. I wish I could show it better. Yeah, but anyway, it is exactly like it. So we're just going to say it's green onyx or a type of calcite. Um, this with this beautiful etched stone here is 30. Okay, scoot that over. And I keep these all bagged up and ready to roll. Okay, now you're going to see the difference. Now look how clear this Indian is. Okay, now we're, I already know what it is, but we're gonna take, let's do this. And see what it says. It is, this, this says it's selenite, but it's, I don't think so. Selenite has a very distinct feel to it and it's weird. It's very strange. Um, this would be um, what I think is a quartz, like a clear, like a clear quartz. This actually says satin spar selenite, which is gypsum. Um, I do have a piece somewhere, and it actually leaves a little um, itchy stuff in your fingers. So I don't think this one's right. Um, this is so interesting, though. This Rock Identifier app is so cool. Um, and like I said, it's not perfect, I'm sure. Okay, let's go back. Um, now the other one actually was... Oh, come on, guys. Yeah, it's a wonderful app if you can get it to work. Okay, come on, let's go back. Okay. There we go, guys, come on. It is, let me go back one. There's the satin spar. Okay, clear quartz is what the these others came up and then this kept coming up that satin spar, which is selenite, which I don't believe. I believe these deeper, darker pieces, like this here, is the green onyx. I think these are quartz. And um, it's just really different. And then this one Indian, this one came up as chalcedony, or chalcedony, however you want to say it. 
and it's not. I think these two pieces are the same. These two different types are probably agates or could be uh, um, the, the green onyx, which it very well could be um, this part, and then this is quartz. So this one with the Indian here is actually right around um, 22 inches with a three inch Indian here. And this one here is, no, I don't know if I put a price on this one. Let's do, let's do 22 and 22 on these two. These two here are 22. Okay. And we're almost done. I've got one more and it's cool. And um, I do believe this one is also green onyx. I don't think I even tested this one because it's got such a cast to it that it's got like a green cast. This is a little ink and god. I love this one. This one is cute as a button. He is approximately 24 inches plus his self, which is almost three. So we'll just say 28 inches total. So let's do this. Let's not search. Let's go back here. Okay. Yeah, once you get in here, it's hard to figure out where to go next or how, you know, I mean, how to go back over. Let's cancel that. Um, let's try this one and see what it does. I don't think I tested this one. It's going to say green onyx. Well, you bet. Yep, it said green onyx, and that's what it looks like. Let's see. That same picture, and then this picture at the bottom. That's what I'm trying to get you guys to see. Let's see. I don't think I can get you to see it. Let me see. There we go. Wow, that's weird, isn't it? Anyway, I believe that could very well be. It's like a banded green calcite. And it's like a greenish olive green... Um, and this definitely has green in it. So we'll say it's a cross between an onyx and a, um, agate, an agate onyx. And they're like a different makeup. So this would be like a calcite more. These are more like, um, um, oh gosh, this is the one they're saying is gypsum. Or um, selenite, but I, I don't I don't think so. So that's your lesson for the day. <laughs> this little guy here is going to be thirty. I just love him, and like I said, he's about twenty four plus three. To, we'll just say twenty eight inches total. These are in excellent shape. There's nothing wrong with them. You can actually hook them, and just hook them to where they don't come undone at all. Because you do not want these on the floor. Because you will have broken. Just like anything else, it's, that's rock. You have to be careful with them. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and stop with that. If anybody has any questions or comments, um, like I said, please check the sold list. Please check the description. Um, I haven't been going in and doing my little uh, intro and stuff just because it's been a madhouse here lately and I'd rather get the videos up than go through a lot of extra but hopefully starting tomorrow and for the weekend I can do my little intros and extra little pictures and stuff like that so we got through everything I do have some rings left I have some sterling too so we'll be going through that but I want to get this costume jewelry lot from shop goodwill you know, uploaded, and tomorrow will be the giveaway video. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful night, a beautiful morning, and stay blessed and stay well. We'll talk to you soon, guys. Thanks so much.